Anastasia here at Crystal Instruments. For most signal analysis testing, we will typically set up our test parameters, acquire spectral data, save it, and move on. However, many other situations will call for both the time history as well as the spectral information. What if I told you there was a way to do both? Record time histories on any one of our fantastic analyzers like the Spider 80X, Spider 81, High Channel Spider 80XI, and handhelds like this Coco 80X and Spider 20. Then take that data into Post Analyzer and not only filter, but also post process to receive spectrums like FFT, FRF, DMOD, Octaves, and many others. That is exactly what I will be showing you today on this tutorial. Post Analyzer is a powerful tool part of Crystal Instruments EDM software suite designed for processing long waveform recordings. There are many processing options offered in PA, and today we will cover FFT analysis and data conditioning to help adjust and process an original recording. Post Analyzer, unlike EDM, needs a licensed code to activate any features, and this must be done with the PC online. However, very much like EDM, PA also uses SQL Server to organize the new data we will generate. Begin by creating a new FFT spectral analysis project. Conveniently, there is an option to enable the data conditioning function within the new project wizard. Next, click on Add Source File and select a recorded time history, the format of which can be the Crystal Instruments ATFX standard or text and CSV. CI also offers file converter feature for additional formats. Click Next once raw data is loaded and select the analysis specifics. The example data has an excitation and response channel, so FRF is also selected and channel 1 chosen as the reference before clicking Finish. The PA interface resembles EDM for Spider DSA quite closely. And once the project loads, look to the Data Files tab on the left to open any additional channels of the raw data. In the Data Source tab in the center, move the dotted lines around to select which portion of the data to process. When data conditioning has been activated, a window for the function also exists in the center. Let's start by acquiring the peak data for both channels. Go to Statistic Modules tab towards the bottom, and to add a conditioning function, click, drag, and drop it next to the channel. Then, use the cursor to drag the channel output towards the function and release until the result appears. The new signals will be listed in the live signals. Next, go to Setup and Project Configuration. For now, disregard the FFT parameters. We will come back to those later. Choose No Overlap and a Block Size for each conditioning module. Next, go to Save Options. PA is only capable of saving either process time streams or spectra separately. For saving the time peak history, choose to continuously save time streams and select Acquired Time. Next, in the Analysis Speed, select Fastest with Complete Signal Display, which will quicken the processing. The Other Options menu will allow to resample data as well as process non-contiguous sections of a recording. Click OK to save changes and exit. The project is now set up to run. Under the control panel, press the run button and wait for the analyzer to complete the processing. The peak time stream results will appear in the run folders to the left. Right click on a signal to export. Next, we will process the APS and FRF signals of the recording. Back in Test Configuration, adjust the FFT analysis parameters. Now, in Saving Options, select to either save on an interval, on the average, or all process frames continuously, the latter of which allows to generate a result such as the waterfall. Click OK to save changes and exit. Under Control Panel, click Run once again. And once processing is complete, look to the Run folders for the results. For more information about Post Analyzer and our complete offering of signal analysis products, please visit www.crystalinstruments.com.